Hi and welcome back to the Red Panda Co. I am Tasha. Um, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a request video. So on my last video, um, on my last face-up video, I asked if anybody wanted to know the process of how I cut out um, these vinyl chaos heads. And a couple of people said they wanted to. So that was enough for me. I mean, I, I think I was going to do it anyway, <laughs> but the two people saying that they wanted to see it actually did help a lot in my motivation to get this recorded. So I currently only have a cocoa head to cut vinyl on. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. I actually cut the rest of all of the ones that I have already because I was kind of on a roll <laughs> on cutting them. Since um, I've kind of figured out a system on how to do it, I figured I'd share the system when I was trying to look up how to cut the vinyl heads. I only found a couple videos on YouTube. So I figured I would make one of my own. Now I wanna preface this by saying I'm a beginner <laughs> at all of this. I just recently, the last couple weeks, have started doing face-ups and doing cutting the vinyl and everything. It's extremely straightforward. It's not complicated at all. So don't be intimidated by it. Um, I know that these heads are expensive or they can be expensive, but try to take the pressure off of yourself. If you're freaking out about it or anything like that, it's really not that hard. It really just takes practice. So I, like I said, will be the first to tell you that I'm not perfect at this <laughs> at all. There's gonna be imperfections, but I think you need to embrace the imperfections. It's okay. It's okay if it's not perfect because it is handmade. So um, even Danny Chu himself, which is the creator of Smart Doll, have mentioned the fact that none of his dolls are perfect. They're pretty close to it, but <laughs> You know, he, he mentions the fact that there is imperfectness in the world and you should embrace it. So don't freak out if something happens. So that's my little bit of encouragement when you're starting this, if you um, are just barely starting um, cutting vinyl. So I am going to point the camera down and I'll show you all the tools that I use. And I will kind of just show you the process in which I go about cutting the vinyl out. And hopefully this will be helpful to you. Okay, so um the two things that you really only need so we're gonna we're gonna move from the very basics that you need to just some extra not necessary items so the very basic minimum thing that you're gonna need is obviously the head and an exacto knife so you really could if you don't have the money to get anything else this is really all that you need is the exacto knife and the head everything else i'm going to show you really just helps the process it's not going to it's not necessary but it really does help your process and it helps you do a little bit better on this like i said i'm a beginner so these other items while not necessary they're actually very helpful but all you really need is a head and an exacto knife and it's recommended that you have a brand new X-Acto knife because it just makes it a lot easier to cut through the vinyl. But it is possible just to cut it just like this. Now for me personally, I struggle a little bit doing it with just these basics. And so I actually add on a couple extra items. So to help, I have a blow dryer here. And what I do, a blow dryer and a pen. So what I do, with the blow dryer, a pen, or a pencil, or some sort of long thing, I'll put the pen inside, and I will blow dry on hot the vinyl. And what that does is it just kind of softens the vinyl a little bit. So it's a little bit easier for your knife to go through, and it does make it a lot easier. Like I said, you can cut it without heating it up, but I do recommend heating it up because it does help quite a bit. I have uh, no experience in cutting like body parts, uh, by the way, but I do think that all of these apply to those as well. Um, but this is pretty much what I end up using. The other two items that I have added to my repertoire of cutting vinyl is, again, not necessary, um, but it really does help quite a bit smooth out some of the cuts, especially because, again, I'm new and my cuts are a little bit rough. So I have a Dremel. It is a Dremel from Lowe's. Um, it was like $35. So again, it's a little bit like you can get more expensive Dremels too. I don't really know anything about them. So uh, this was kind of the cheapest one I could find and it had a lot of tips. The tip I'm using, let's see if I can get it to focus. 
Okay, so the, the tip that I'm using is just this kind of sandpaper tip. It's a little bit on the thin side. It's really good to get into the eye holes and kind of even it out. And that, it's basically just a tip with a little bit of grit, like sandpaper. And it just kind of smooths out a little bit of your cut. So if your cuts get a little bit rough, you can kind of smooth it out with this. The thing that I have to go with the Dremel is this paintbrush. Um, what I pretty much do with the paintbrush is when I have the, the head and I use the Dremel, a lot of the vinyl will kind of show up. It's like kind of powdery. <laughs> and so what I do with this, I use this paintbrush to kind of just wipe away. Um, I have cats, long haired cats. So sorry if there's like so much cat hair. What I'll do with the paintbrush is just kind of wipe away some of that like Dremel um, dust. And that kind of helps a little bit so you're not getting that in the way. So, um, those are your kind of the tools, and again, all you really need is the exacto knife and the head. However, the other materials do actually help quite a bit. So let's get into the actual cutting. Okay, so the first, the first thing that I cut off is just this little cone thing. <laughs> um, just because it's the easiest thing. And if you've never cut something before, this is a good way to start. Like if you just have, like for example, if you get like a pack of six or a pack of four, what I would recommend just to kind of get started is just like take all of the heads that need to be cut out. And if they have this, just cut this out because that'll get you a feel for how it feels. Because once you get into the eyes, it's a little bit more difficult. And um, that takes a little bit more precision. But with this, it doesn't have to be a perfect cut because you're not gonna see the top of the head anyway the head cap is going to cover it and the wig is going to cover it so it doesn't have to be perfect and so it kind of gives you a feel without having like the pressure of trying to make it perfect so this is what i do is i'll put this pen here so the reason that i have the pen if i didn't explain it earlier or just something long is when you're blow drying the blow dryer is actually kind of hot <laughs> so um if your hand is too close to the blow dryer it gets a little warm right so that's kind of the reason I have a pen here is to kind of just keep my hand away from the blow dryer itself. So let's blow dry and get that cat hair out of there. And then we will cut the top here. Now I personally don't know how long um, the you should actually blow dry it for. So uh, let me know if you have more experience than I do. Let me know how long you blow dry it for. Um, but I blow dried it for just like a couple seconds. So now we're just gonna kind of get in here and cut it off. Watch your hands too. I mean, I know this is kind of, that's a little bit self-explanatory, <laughs> but I have caught myself when I'm cutting out the eyes, putting my hand inside the head. So you just kind of have to be aware of where your fingers are at all times. I know that, like I said, it's a kind of a dumb disclaimer, but it is worth noting um, when you're cutting these because especially if you've got a brand new blade, it's kind of sharp. Um, so as you can see right here, so this part I've noticed is kind of the hardest part. There's this little like notch and you kind of have to be careful because I ended up kind of cutting down. Again, like I said, it doesn't matter as much on this cone part because um, it's you're not gonna see it anyway, but you do want to make it as easy as possible But this is a good place to start just to kind of practice But I kind of caught it and it cut down a little bit into the head So you got to be careful about that and I would also recommend if you're not super confident in Cutting cut a little bit above where you need to cut because you can always You can always come back and cut more I've found that if it's, um, if you cut just above where you're supposed to cut, it's actually a lot easier to come back and cut little bits than the whole thing. So that's gonna come in handy um, when it comes to the eyes in particular. And that's exactly my method on cutting the eyes out is to cut a little bit at a time. And I'll show you that once we get there. That last little bit is just gonna hang on. So as you can see, it's not perfect at all. Um, and then I'm gonna just come in here and kinda, again, watch your fingers. Um, and 
cut away from yourself. Don't cut towards yourself. That's kind of one, you know, blade safety 101. But it is also worth noting. But yeah, so at this point, I'm just going to kind of cut it off. I'm going to cut this down because I could potentially catch the blade cap. Or sorry, the could potentially catch the head cap. But again, this part does not at all have to be perfect. Um, I would just recommend kind of just cutting it as good as you can. Um, and this part is actually the easiest part. So again, I mean, if you want to get rid, you know, start the eyes first, then go right ahead. But what I what I find easy is once the cone is out of the way it's easier to kind of get a hold of it, and you can set your head on top of the cone. <laughs> um, so that is, we, we were halfway there. It's the easiest part, but we are halfway there. So let's get going on the eyes, and this is where we're gonna bring in the Dremel tool. Okay, so again, I'm gonna kind of set it down and kind of hold it with the pen. Uh, the pen also helps when because you saw earlier that I lost the pen <laughs> as I was blow drying it. It also kind of it keeps your hand away from the blow dryer, but it also kind of keeps um, it also keeps the head from blowing in a direction. So let's blow dry again, but right at the front of her head, where or her face, just right in her face. And again, if you see me doing something wrong, <laughs> respectfully correct me in the comments because. Uh, I am new to this. Um, okay, so again, I just kind of hit it for a few seconds. I think you can hit it longer, but I do get a little bit afraid that I'm going to warp the the vinyl, so I'm not going to do that. So, so what I do is I kind of just start with one of the eyes. Sorry if you can hear sound in the background. My cat wants my cats want in. I closed the door. So I kind of start pretty far out. Again, keep keep your hands out of the out of the head. I start pretty far out from where the actual cut line is and just because it's easier just because it's a little bit easier to come back and cut it out so I'm gonna stop talking here and do a little bit of a time lapse because I feel like I'm gonna end up stabbing myself if I keep talking and doing this so let's get on to that So this is looking a little rough. <laughs> um, I had to blow dry it again, as you can see, because it was a little bit tough to cut through. What I would recommend is just take it slow, honestly. Just take a little bit at a time, take it really slow. Um, if you're struggling a little, heat it up with the blow dryer again. And just take it, take it nice and slow, a chunk at a time, just keep cutting at it. So I'm gonna actually cut both of these out, and then I will come back with you um, about the uh, Dremel portion of this. So I am checking in here halfway through <clears throat> to show you the progress of my the one eye. It's pretty rough. I mean, I know it's hard to see. I'm trying to get my ring light in here. Believe it or not, there is a ring light here. <laughs> um, it's a little rough, but again, I think that the Dremel will be able to kind of take that a little better. Um, I did accidentally poke her cheek. <laughs> with the X-Acto knife. I'm not sure, oh, you can kind of see it. It's right there. It's very subtle, but um, it's really easy to do that. So again, don't get discouraged if that happens because it's gonna happen and it's not the end of the world if it does. Because I honestly think, um, I think I mentioned it in my last face up video, my last video that I posted. I noticed that the black colored pencil was kind of flaking a little bit and I accidentally sealed in with the Mr. Super Clear of like a piece of the colored pencil and I kind of just turned it into a mole because I thought it was cute or like a little beauty mark. So, you know, I think that there are some imperfections that can be um, turned into something cute. So don't worry about it. Anyway, let's cut out this other eye and then we will uh, hit it with the Dremel. All right. 
So I cut out the other eye and like you can see, it's pretty rough. <laughs> Um, but I kind of purposely did that. Obviously, if you're just using your X-Acto knife, I would be a little bit careful, more careful with your cuts. I'm, yeah, how many times am I going to say I'm new here? I don't know. I mean, I think you got the hint. I'm, I'm new at <laughs> this, so it's going to be rough anyway. Um, so I wasn't going to try really hard to make it perfect. But we're going to get the Dremel in here because as, as you can see, it fits really well in here. And so you kind of just carefully, um kind of chip at it and kind of smooth it out a little bit. Sometimes I have to go back to the X-Acto knife and kind of cut a chunk out or whatever, and I am just gonna work on smoothing this out. So let's get going on that. All right, so I've kind of come to a stopping point. Um, as you can see, there's still kind of some kind of rough spot, so I probably will come in later and kind of fix that a little bit. But that's pretty close. I mean, it's not perfect uh, at all by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not too bad. Um, a lot of times I had to kind of come in with like the X-Acto knife. I had to kind of come in from this way. Um, like I said, just be careful with that, but uh, yeah, and uh, I'll kind of share with you a little bit more of my thoughts on this um, as we wrap up. Okay, so uh, I wanted to come on. Oh, I just noticed the hole is not cut. Okay. Um, I just wanted to come on really quick and kind of give you my like last thoughts on this. First off, I don't understand how people can record with like multiple lights because I'm like burning up and I've got one ring light. <laughs> Also, I was trying to focus really hard. So here is my little, um, it's the cheese sculpt, if you didn't uh, notice, in Coco. So one of the things that I learned, because again, this is the first Coco head that I have uh, cut the flashing out of. And I want to notice, to, to note the fact that the Coco skin tone is not as forgiving as the cinnamon and the tea skin tone. So I actually have cut out all the skin tones now, except for blue. Um, I do have a blue head floating around here somewhere, but I don't actually know where it is. Um, you would think that with the amount of money that I spend on this smart doll stuff, that I would keep track of it. Um, you would be surprised. If you couldn't tell by my background, I'm a little more um, unorganized. But anyway, so this is one that I did. little self promo here. Um, this is a, a tea, um, and I believe it's Curiosity. Curiosity's sculpt. Anyway, um, I did cut out this one and it's a little bit better. Um, but what I've noticed after cutting out some of the, uh, the other skin tones like this one, and I've also cut out a cinnamon, um, and it was even actually the entropy slash, uh, Gemini sculpt. And so the eyes were a little bit like thinner. Um, that was actually easier than this. So, uh, I am not as inept as with the Dremel as I probably should be. And so I actually like nicked her face. Um, you will have seen it in the, in the close up. Uh, quite, I nicked it quite a few times and Danny is, he even mentioned that the, um, the cocoa skin tone, when it gets scratched, it's pretty obvious. So I would say this was probably not the greatest head to cut out on video just because I am not that great at this and um, it's not as forgiving. However, this is the only one I had. So, uh, but this is a good learning experience, but just to let you know if you've never done this before, that the cocoa skin tone is not as forgiving as the cinnamon or tea. So if you have a choice, I recommend practicing on the cinnamon or the tea skin tone just because it's a little bit more forgiving because if you do hit um, like the outside of the face with the Dremel or with your X-Acto knife, it's a little bit easier to kind of hide that with the face up. Um, it'll be a little bit harder for me to hide that with the face up on this, but luckily I'm keeping this. This is going to be my, uh, my sculpt, my face up. Once I do the face up on it, it'll be mine. Um, but that's something to keep in mind if you've never done this before, um, or if you have and you don't know this, <laughs> the Coco skin tone's a little bit more difficult to work on. Um, but it's still doable uh, as long as you know that, as long as you go into it. Uh, I personally 
need to practice a little bit more, I think, before I can do another Cocoa Skin Tone. But again, I want to reiterate what I did at the beginning. Things are not going to be perfect and it's okay. It's okay to mess up. It's okay for it not to be perfect. Um, with the one that I just showed you, the tea skin tone, I accidentally, uh, the knife slipped a little bit and it kind of caught the corner of one of her eyes. And so I ended up taking the Dremel and kind of like grinding it down uh, to make it look a little bit more natural. And what ended up happening was the, the eye shape I changed the eye shape and so neither of the eye shape and it was obvious before I put the face up on but um, fortunately I was able to use that to my advantage and that's the reason she looks the way she does because I tried for the face up to make it look like um, it was natural so you can't really tell when the face ups on so that's the thing you'll be able to hide it a little bit but anyway I hope that helped I hope that helps somebody <laughs> if anything um, like I said at the big in the middle of this video somewhere if you see that i'm doing something wrong or if you have a recommendation of how to make something easier let me know i am all ears i am all for it um i'm about learning so i just wanted to make this video just to kind of give a like a brand new beginner something to look at and something to kind of like to know what what to expect when they go into it because that was something that i was looking for when i first started and i didn't have that so i just kind of wanted to make that I kind of wanted to make that for other beginners. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you are successful in your vinyl cu cutting endeavors. <laughs> and um, if there's anything that you want to see me do, let me know and I will do it. I appreciate you watching and I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.